Welcome back to the channel everyone. So today we have the Eng Up or Eng Up, however you want to call it. Uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 9 MR wagon. We never sold in the United States. Only 2,500 of these were built and they were sold exclusively in Japan. So this one um, is in black. They also have white, red, blue, and uh, silver available. The company Eng Up, um, it's fairly new. I've never, I don't know anything much about them. I know they have a, a Ford GT model also available. And uh, this one, this wagon really came out about two months ago. So one cool thing about this one is that it has the the um, special edition front lip on there. Um, so that's a nice touch. It's the first Evo 9 model that I have with that specific lip. Um, it does come with the standard NK wheels, 17 inch wheels. Um, I've driven one of these in Jamaica. A friend of mine has one, or had one, a white one. And um, I was uh, really impressed with how different and how stylish the interior is compared to the standard uh, nine, uh, Evo 9s. The, trunks, uh, the trunk also has like under the floor storage and it, it, it felt like a more classy car. I wish they had sold this in the United States because this, <laughs> this would be a good excuse for those who are trying to have a family and have a sports car at the same time. Um, so this one because it's an MR has the six speed the six speed uh, transmission well the shifter in here definitely looks like the six speed. They also had a GSR model which, which came in the five speed manual and there's also a five-speed automatic. If you want one of these, you can find them on eBay right now for around two, $230 to $260 shipped. Most of these, they come from either Taiwan or China. I don't think it's a licensed product from Mitsubishi because I, I, on the packaging I was looking at it, I don't see the actual licensing on there. So. <laughs> I don't know, there's some kind of Wild West thing going on with die-cast cars lately. But I don't mind it because it allowed me to get one of these in the collection. So I'll go ahead and stop the display so we can get a closer look at some of the features. Looking at the back of the car, it reminds me so much of the Volvo 850 T5R. Especially with the, the lights going up on the side like that. I'll go ahead and insert a picture of a 850 T5R for comparison. But man, the bumper looks really good um, below the car. So under the car, it's not really that impressive. It's really lightweight for uh, resin. So it's just like a flat panel. It's not much detail. The tip of the exhaust looks nice, but it would be nice to have a drum and some more detail under here. It would really make this car stand out thing about the black paint, you will see fingerprints um, if you try to move it around. So the front looks good. One thing I noticed in the packaging when I got the car is that the license, the license plate thing here, <laughs> whoever installed this actually put it on backwards. So I had to take this off, flip the, 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 the name plate thing around as well and put it on properly. But minor 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 complaint um, but overall I am happy with it I'm happy that it's in the collection not only is this a rear car in just in the world in general it's also a rear die cast model they didn't really make many of these so from a collector standpoint I would recommend getting getting one because once these things are sold out the price is gonna go up ridiculously I mean their Evos on eBay right now for over $900, $1,000. Some people look at these as toys. I look at these as somewhat of an investment because years from now, they're going to be worth a lot of money. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. So anyway, so there you have it. The uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 9 MR um, wagon. Um, 
So if you like this channel, if you like what you're seeing and um, you appreciate the videos, you can go ahead and, and uh, like, subscribe, share with your friends or whatever. And um, I'll, I'll make sure to have more content coming. So this is something I do as a hobby. Um, I like sharing the collection with other people so people know what's out there, especially car enthusiasts around the world. Um, what I've been noticing in the past few years is that a lot of a lot of cars now are uh, are now available in 118. So, if you're if you have a specific car in mind, ch chances are it's it's available in in a small scale like this that you could display. Um, so it's it's quite interesting. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this one and um, feel free to comment, ask questions. Um, I can help you find one of these. People have asked me all the time if I should go ahead and start selling models. Uh, it's something that I'm considering. But that's going to take up a lot of my time. Um, but I am definitely looking looking into it. So if I do start becoming a diecast or resin model dealer, I'll let you guys know. But uh, as for now, just a collector. Anyway, take care.